my glasses with my magnifying glass which makes no fucking sense so we have a problem there's a show out right it made scooby-doo look like scooby-doo all right um we need to figure this out i don't know what the writers were thinking <laughs> where's shaggy where's scooby this is not scooby-doo dude this is definitely a bridge or a parody or something we're gonna watch this breakdown on aaron on animation and let's just see what he says about this because I know it can't be anything but bad. <laughs> let's take a look at this. Hey, we're gonna solve the mystery if Velma oh. is really that bad. What your boy decided to do <laughs> oh, is sit man. down and watch every episode today. <laughs> every episode? Nah. Oh, no. no. All right. <laughs> look, the unanimous consensus around the internet is Velma is terrible. Velma is the worst thing Horrible. ever made. Yeah. Even worse than Dragon Ball Evolution. Yeah. Avatar, The Last Airbender, <laughs> the live action movie. Oh, and yo. Everything Netflix has done to live action anime. You know, I didn't watch the live action Avatar one because I could tell that was trash. But it was really that bad? Let me know, Damn. guys. Damn. When you put it like that, this show, it, it sounds terrible the show sounds like the worst thing that has ever been created uh, and if you've been around yo. at any point in the last 20 years there's a lot of things that have been terrible especially oh nah oh, halo brother, i hate well gang i'm here to tell you bill made that bad is this Serious? Now hold on, hold on before you get typing in the comment section and tell me how terrible it may be. Hear me out. But first, uh -huh. before I explain my opinion, let me explain the definition of a phrase. Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome is a coping mechanism to a captive or abusive mm. situation. People begin to develop positive feelings for their captors or abusers over time. This condition gets its name from a robbery in 1973 that what? happened in Stockholm, Sweden. Now you might be asking your Aaron, what does this have to do with Velma? Well, let me Aaron, tell what you, we doing? the reason this ties into Velma because the show isn't that bad. That ass. It's actually worse than oh. anything we could have ever imagined. I was gonna say, I was like, I don't know, Aaron, you losing me. I was like, hey, <laughs> there's no defending on this one. Absolutely not. I literally <laughs> spent hours. <laughs> It was so hard getting through these episodes. We got oh, through episode one, and I was like, damn, I this show is really bad. And to this progressively watch from episode two Ugh. to six was quite frankly, the hardest thing I ever had to do in my entire life. And now That's I sad. know that may seem <laughs> far-fetched. That may seem Yo. like a lot. Bro, this show is bad. A lot. They got your ass on camera. Bill made that bad. So that was a Oh, lie. I believe it's right. so bad, in fact. As you continue to watch the show, it begins to get slightly better and better each episode. And in fact, it's not getting no. better. We're starting to cope with how terrible it is. Like, uh, our mind is literally saying, Yo, the show ain't that bad. It, it, that's not what we're tricking ourselves. You know what's crazy about that phrase is sometimes people say things aren't that bad just to not be with the norm. You know what I mean? People will be like, no, it's not, like, nah, this dish is trash. Now, Velma is, is a character trash. originally from the series Scooby Doo. That's just in case you don't know. And gang, I'm a Scooby Doo <laughs> baby. I remember the first Scooby Doo show I ever watched. It was Scooby Doo Where Are You when it came Scooby on Doo Cartoon Doo. Network. Hell, I Where remember missing you? school and watching a pup named Scooby Doo. Scooby, I even remember Scooby. when what new Scooby Doo came out. And that shit. On the topic yo, of that was my favorite one. Hands down, the best Scooby Doo theme song ever to exist. You can argue okay, with your mama. Uh, uh. Oh, you know what? Nah, I want to say Pup Named Scooby-Doo is my favorite one. Back on top. Scooby, Scooby. But like Remember that one? Most Scooby-Doo fans have enjoyed most of their slap. series and most of their movies. I was one of them going into this series. Ooh, ooh. And I'm not gonna lie to you. He was excited I as hell. So much more from the series. Oh, man. It had so much promise. 
Velma as a series is probably the worst spinoff to any series in television history. And that's including mm. that Shaolin Showdown remake that oh. came on Disney XD. And, and everybody <laughs> said that was bad. But I'm gonna be honest with you, gang. That wasn't it too was bad though. nowhere near as bad as this. Hell. Shaolin Even Showdown kind of cool slapped Scooby a little bit. Do, which the fan, a lot of fans didn't like the series. <laughs> I mean, they look like cartoon drug addicts. <laughs> Look at Fred, bro. Yo, even Scooby High. Oh, yeah, nah. Why is she the only normal looking one? They need to fix that. This show was <laughs> king hideous. I felt like God. I was watching the marvelous misadventures of Flapjack. That's not oh. fucking Scooby Doo. That's just Doobie. Yo, Flapjack slaps too. Easy, and the fans enjoyed this far more than what we've gotten from Velma. Now, Velma was supposed to be something new edgier, darker, adult, completely different from the original Hanna-Barbera IP. Something more serious and adult. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I was looking forward to it. My mind and my oh. imagination ran wild. Like, yes. Velma, <laughs> adult, this sounded like it was shaping up to be everything I could have hoped for. Hey, 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 we're taking this hard. And what we got was nowhere <laughs> near that. I I hate this Ooh, show. I hate damn. this show so much, in <laughs> fact, that every show that I hated before this in the past, I no longer hate those shows. <laughs> what I bro. do, I just hate. But the fact that you got through all the episodes, bro. Rest in peace, mind, bro. Aspects of those shows. This show, however, I hate everything about it. I mean, there is not one single minute thing about this series I in fact like. I'm look, 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 before I continue to keep dragging Bruh. the show, before we continue to talk about the bad, let's talk about the good. My mama okay. told me if you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. And look, me being the individual I am, I do got something nice to say because I can find the good in anything. What the we show got? in itself looks good. Why now am I talking the about the characters? No, no, I'm not. But we're only talking about the positives here. Now, no matter okay. how terrible the show is, Good luck. and no matter how many ungodly attempts they do to make some jokes, some of them do in fact get a laugh out of you. I think For real? it has something to do with drugs, which I hate. <laughs> Statistically speaking, if I shoot enough basketballs oh. at a goal, enough time i should at least make one and that's the humor here as much <laughs> terrible sh as it do say oh damn that's hit, great and it's kind of funny <laughs> see it sounds like stockholm syndrome don't it as you can nah. see I'm, I'm struggling to find the good the show I had know. a great concept and a great hook the idea i think the only good thing about the show is the animation like it actually looks pretty good like you know the colors everything like you know everything but that's the it. new edger show with darker tones great concept but terrible terrible Delivery. execution oh now man. now let's go ahead and get this out of the way i don't hate the show because of the race swap honestly or the sexuality you can hate the show and not be racist or homophobic it's something that's, that's true. bad it's just bad. Let's call I think we it what all, it is. We all agree on that for sure. <laughs> this yeah. was simply the most marketable way to make this show. Whereas a more adult focused Velma show does sound amazing. You got to think about it from an executive point, right? If I was an exec, I would need something more to grab an audience. And they leaned into this idea because it's provocative. It's the people going. And look, look, your boy, I'm all for representation. Steven Universe, it was gas. This yeah. is ass. I can only speak to myself. Oh my I've God. never actively pursued <laughs> seeing more black characters. And I think that was from the perspective or the standpoint of like, if I like this show, I liked it regardless of what the characters look like. Cartoons and movies are a fantasy world, gang, where we get to see other people's imagination drawn out. And to me, all I can speak for, it wasn't something that made or broke the show for me. Now, when I did first see a character of color, it was a plus for me. I thought, yo, this right. is lit as hell. But if I think that makes it the plus for me as well as like when we actually have our own character, like, you know, sometimes when they like to incorporate us into that, a, the same character but like a different storyline like i understand that but like to give us our own is even 
a plus, right? It wasn't like, there. It didn't push I like that. away from the show. <laughs> I hope that made sense. This time, it felt gimmicky, unauthentic, mm. like just like the rest of the show. The show right, follows right. Velma as she tries to solve the mystery of her missing mother and a murderer who's going around killing all the pretty girls. I ain't gonna lie to you. The show sounds like it was literally written by someone who was either bullied or picked on Ooh. or hate pretty people. He's so fine, she Damn. Ooh, really? <laughs> Granted, <laughs> that's the point. But even though that's the point, it's bad. Now, while she's out trying to solve the mystery of her missing mother and whoever the hell is killing all the pretty people, she goes through a manic cycle where she begins to see stuff that's not there. And this is caused because of her guilt because she feels like she's the reason her mom disappeared. When this happens, she has she a left to get milk, and she's literally been killed in the show. We six episodes in, and the bitch didn't die twice. Keep it in and in the fucking <laughs> show. On oh, the first episode, I couldn't get through it, bro. Hello, <laughs> mother. Oh shit. Oh, she really did get bodied like that. Oh, that's it. <laughs> like I don't, I hate it. The show has race swapped everyone but Fred. Oh, and let right. me tell you, I didn't want this. I don't think <laughs> anyone did, bro. Velma as a character is a utter bitch who lives in delusion. <coughs> Wake girl with too much money. You don't know me. Enjoy your slow descent into organic farming, losers. Damn. Judgmental as hell and fucking selfish. And plus, she's super woke too. down bad. She talks God. about everybody else, but look. Look who's down horrendous. Yes. Oh. Shut the fuck up. After her and Daphne <laughs> kissed, Shorty couldn't keep soon as What the? I'm talking about what? Daphne. Maybe we could be friends with benefits. You know what I'm they saying? They really did that? I'm getting moist right now. Come on, Daphne. Oh, yo. Let's keep it as friends. We just got back cool. Daphne, Ooh. just tuck me down. Let's get it on. I can, so I can solve this mystery. My panic attack is getting me. That is essentially what she was doing i gotta keep spinning a block because i can already see y'all in the comments yeah, but it was I meant to be real oh, like this man, it was meant to be bad. relatable blah 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 dog it right. was fucking shit. she's fucking shit. she's terrible right her dad is terrible her life is bad however Ooh. all this shit that happens to velma and as much as you want to give her leeway and the benefit of the doubt as a character you can't because she's a trash human being. Throw she literally in the trash. War with Amber and the rest of them. I hate it. She's oh. terrible. And then this show, Daphne's agent with red invincible. hair. Invincible. And I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to explain the reasons or un unpack what happened there or why it's so terrible. But it's it's fucking bad. It's bad. Oh, oh. Yeah, Fred. I, I man. Fred is an L for real. Like, I don't even, man, Fred is a fucking Bro. L. Oh, and then they're Shaggy. Oh, they're, oh, and they're Shaggy. Did they give him a new name, right? What's his name? Like Clem, Clemont? What, they right? did to my boy. What is oh, it? Oh, come on. If you gonna make him black, at least make him cool. He oh my bitch. God, he's lame. I'm here, and I might be late for dinner. Don't pour my milk. Oh, oh no. God. The entire show, he's fumbling and dumping all over Velma about how he want to be with her. He's trying everything in his power to get Velma. He down bad over Velma. Talking about what I got to do to get her to like me. I'm going to sell nah. my kitty. And what then the she'll realize I'll do anything for her. And she'll then love me. And give me some of that boom boom room. Bro, it's what? Down no, 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 no. And then once he got a no, girl, no. he was still a bitch. Oh. The show is ass. And the show is going in this weird direction where it begins to build out and flush out the world. And the more and more they try, what? the more I hate it. The 98% of the humor from this show is a miss. And as the show continues, it creates an interesting story, but puts it together like. You find oh, out about no. a special operation that was centered around switching brains into different bodies. Ooh! That's a W concept. That, uh, let's talk about how the show introduced uh, Scooby. It's an acronym for a special operation of them switching fucking brains. Are y'all serious? He's not even a fucking dog. Bro, I wouldn't be surprised the way Hell the show keeps no. going what? if it goes down a route 
and somehow they end up putting somebody's head in a dog's body <laughs> and they call it Scooby-Doo. Or we find out it's Shaggy's mom or his dad the whole time who did the killing. And yes, I'm calling him Shaggy. I know his name is Norville, but I don't More give Norville. a, a, a That's personally what his name think was. they could have just created an entirely new set of characters in the Scooby-Doo universe. And it would have been fine, bro. Hell, if they wanted to take a darker tone, they could have literally just brought back Mystery Incorporated. I feel a show like that, if it was completely unrestricted, it could have literally made for a more compelling and overall series. I'm not gonna lie, this would be like one of the only, sh like one of the few shows I wouldn't even mind having all the characters. Like they don't even need to remake any of them. Like they all have good personalities. I don't see why we needed to change them to begin with. And people would have been me. more attached to it. Hell, people are making videos. Scooby's the only reason why this show the, is doing that, as well is because <laughs> people are hate watching it. And look, I get it. The show is meant to poke fun at everything and show the hypocritical nature of the world we live in. To remove the veil that we know as reality and poke fun at the impartialness of everything. But it's fun. Terrible! <laughs> the show is shit! Now look, there's of course all the Easter eggs and they, they try to play homage to Scooby-Doo, but it's not good enough. And the thing I noticed about the show, it's so bad in fact. As you're watching it, you're trying to find the good in it. You're trying to say something sad, along the lines of, hey, it can't get worse. Yeah. How every episode after the first just seems so much better but they're not. They're all oh, nah. terrible and we're lying to ourselves to make it feel better. This show literally feels like they got together all the things that make a show pop in today's society, but they put it together in a horrible way. Hell, the show might turn Ooh. 180 degrees, but I have uh -uh. to call it like I see Wait, wait, it, wait, wait. Is this gonna be due for a second season? There's no way. If they so do, the I don't show know. fails to got deliver money. on everything. On Man. everything everyone hoped for. There's so many routes they could have taken Ooh, to make no. it good, <laughs> and they chose not to. And those one and two laughs that pop up, it don't make the show no better. The no. overall show is shit. And you can ask some folks. They do, in fact, like the show. I feel like there what? is an audience out there. Who? This show is bad. And I think the who? majority of us who are watching it or have seen the past episodes are experiencing a coping mechanism nah. of why it's so bad. I, I need to know names. HBO made the first episode so bad, in fact, that people would talk about it, get people gears going. Mm. People would come in, go Yo. see it. And this is the same thing they did with the Sonic thing, right? Like when they made it that bad to get people talking about it and then, you know, it became successful because they changed the it. The hopes that the writing would develop lock fans in so they continue watching it. The show feels like a random idea generator. Sad part, this bitch got renewed for season two. How do you do that? How do you do that? No. Are y'all watch watching Mystery it? Incorporated. Hey, are you guys gonna watch the second season? Bro, I can't even get through the first episode. Y'all tripping. Um, yeah, no. So this is a no for me, dog. Uh, I tried, you know, I, like I said, I tried not to get on the hate train. I tried to give it a chance. No, it didn't, it didn't work out for me. I, I couldn't even survive. Like, I think it was like, how many minutes did the first episode? Like 20 something minutes or so. I couldn't, I couldn't even get through it. Oh man, I think I stopped at the scene where they were in the shower, like in the locker room. Or I, I don't even remember. But yeah, it was so bad. Shout out to Aaron for the amazing breakdown of this video. I'm surprised he watched all the episodes. Like you are better than me. Cause mm -mm, God. I would have had to take my eyeballs out, put them in a jar somewhere, and then put them in the fridge. Then reheat them up by boiling them to make sure they're clean. <laughs> like, I would have had to do the absolute most to watch all the episodes. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to pan and punch that like button. It really helps me out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. And stick around, guys. All right. <laughs> Until next time. Bye.